Today's educational game that I play is the car parts puzzle. And this is another fun physics homework exercise that is related to automobiles. And all these devices that I have on the top have their own physics working behind them. I will try to mention this, but before that, what I need to do to drag and drop the car parts in correct places. <laughs> Nothing too difficult. And I will begin from the front. Apparently, this car is with uh, front movement. Uh, it, it was it had a name F D W something. I can't remember now, but uh, what is in the real front, this is the radiator, and uh, this is a um, diesel car <laughs> from 2017. Now uh, we have more electric cars, I hope. So. Let's see, the radiator is a heat exchange for cooling internal combustion engines using the airflow that strikes the car while it moves. That is why it is in the front, so the air can go to the radiator and cool the engine. Now let me place that engine. The petrol engine is an internal combustion engine with spark ignition that transforms vertical or linear movement into rotary or radial movement. <laughs> right? Through a system that uh, maybe I will look at that system one day. Okay, while well, I'm in the engine, what are the three main parts of the engine? Near the engine. Uh, that should be the starter. Starter is an electric pneumatic motor used for rota rotating an internal combustion engine to initiate the engine's operation under its own. Okay, so we need first to <laughs> uh, make that device work like uh, well, <laughs> can't remember it now. So this is somewhere here. We have a key which uh, uses electricity from the battery to start the engine. And this is the battery usually, uh, not usually, but sometimes in the back, other times it is uh, near the engine. But now I have some electrical ways here. Hm, what's that? Ah, wait, this is the alternator. The alternators are used to change the... to charge the battery and to power the electrical system when the engine is running. This saves battery energy. So when the engine is running, we don't need to use the battery. We use, actually not we, but the car. She. <laughs> they are all females. And yes. Alright. Uh, here I have that fuel tank. The fuel tank is a safe container for flammable fluid. The fuel is stored and propelled or released into an engine. Okay, so we have a pipe going through the engine, but before the fuel uh, go into the engine, it will pass through the carburetor. Carburetor. The carburetor is a device that blends air and fuel for an internal combustion engine. To carburate is to blend the air and fuel. So, yeah, the fuel goes here through the carburetor. Then it goes into the engine, but uh, it must be sparked, okay? And we have this uh, 
distributor. The distributor is a device in the ignition system of gasoline engine that routes high voltage from the ignition coil to the spark plugs in in specific order, I think. Okay, now when the fuel is ignited, it make gas, the gas pull, push the parts of the engine and then it is exhausted from the what's that? The exhaust system is is piping used to guide the action exhaust gases away from a controlled combustion inside the engine. Too complicated for me. <laughs> All right, so this is about the engine. Now <coughs> uh, we need. I will need to connect the tires and, of course, well, the transmission. The transmission uses gears and gear trains to provide speed and torque, torque conversion from a rotating power source to another device. Okay, it's somewhere here. It has a stick which moves the gears and that gives different rotation to the wheels. And where are these wheels? There they are. Huh? I have wheels. And the wheels have brakes. Now, the drum brake, this is uh, the simplest brake design uh, for cars, that is. Okay, this is a brake that uses friction caused by set of shoes or pots that press outwards against a rotating cylinder to stop the car. I think uh, this it is still used. I don't think this technology is obsolete, but in our times technologies are obsolete pretty fast. Cheers. All right, now, we have suspension. Suspension is the system of tires, springs, and link linkages yes, that, connects a, that connects a vehicle to its wheels and allows relative motion between. So this is uh, so the car can move smoothly, smoothly. Smoothly. And finally, the steering wheel, driving wheel, is the steering control of the vehicle. It is the part of the steering system that is manipulated by the driver. And, well, again, in our days we have a lot of cars with automatic driver. And probably he don't need she, actually. They are all she's. I mean robots and computers, at least for me. And my point it was that well the autopilot don't need the steering wheel. <laughs> but we do. So I will put it right there. And the automobile is completed. Is complete. In past tense? Well, this is the knowledge dodge for today and thanks for watching.